10 Deadly Extinct Predators Hello there, YouTubers! You know, staring into Earth's past, there is a huge amount of hunters that make today's predators look like a bunch of fluffy little kittens. Not that I'm suggesting you should go through a ball of wool at a tiger or anything. Although, if you're dumb enough to do that, maybe you deserve to die. Moving on, I've often wondered what the most brutal predators in the past were. You ever found yourself imagining what ferocious animals once existed? Well, just in case you have, today on Top 5 Best, we're looking at 10 Deadly Extinct Predators. I'm your narrator, Gentleman T-Rex. Let's get started, shall we? Number 10, Argentavis Magnificens. First up, it's a creature that's more believable as a rare find in the world of Pokemon. Six million years ago, the skies of Argentina were a sight to be feared. With a wingspan of 23 feet and a weight of 70 kilograms, it's Argentavis Magnificens, one of the biggest predatory birds to ever exist. Fossils have demonstrated that this giant had the generic bone structure of modern birds, dictating that it could fly. The question that has paleontologists perplexed is how such a bird managed to get its insanely heavy body into the air to begin with. With tiny disproportioned legs, it must have taken one heck of a run up for liftoff. But nevertheless, this monstrous bird was incredibly strong and could carry away its prey with ease. Number 9, Entelodon. Thought to be a close relation to the pig, you'd have struggled to farm bacon from this huge and aggressive predator. Common in Eurasia 56 million years ago, they are believed to have been omnivorous in their dietary habits. That means they could easily switch and adapt to different sources of food. Due to their size, it has been theorized that they never fell victim to larger predators, and may have been capable of driving predators away from their prey to claim the meal for themselves. Estimated at 10 feet long and 453 kilograms, this was a big angry pig you don't want to poke with a stick. Number 8, Quetzalcoatlus. Jeez, imagine this thing landing on your backyard birdhouse. Living 70 million years ago in North America, this terrifying winged animal looks to be some sort of pterodactyl bird middle ground. But on the ground, it stood 20 feet tall and is thought to have been a scavenger that uses its long neck and sharp beak to rip the flesh from the corpses of dead dinosaurs. Despite being a scavenger, it would feed on anything smaller or weaker than it, gliding down to the water to collect fish and eating smaller land animals that cross its path. Despite being huge, with a wingspan of 45 feet, these creatures would often fall prey to the huge crocodiles which inhabited the waters where it captured its prey. Number 7, Andrew Sarchis. Next on the list, it's an animal worthy of being Rob Stark's pet. Everything known about this giant wolf-like predator is due to the discovery of one singular skull. The skull, measuring three feet long, has a jaw full of huge, gnarly teeth and clearly indicates the existence of a big, predatory mammal. But with the lack of a skeleton to match, scientists can only speculate as to the true size of this supposedly enormous mammal. Its size indicates that the lands of Central Asia, where the fossil was discovered, may have been brimming with giant plant-eating mammals to serve as prey to this huge carnivore that was as tall as a horse and weighed 907 kilograms. Number 6, Pelagornis sandersi. Did I hear you say more birds? Well, good, because more birds is what you're dang well gonna get. Squaw! Birds! Oh yeah, I forgot that he still lives here right now. Well, between 25 million to 28 million years ago, this giant predatory bird used to fly over the Earth's ocean in search of its next meal. In 1983, a fossil found in South Carolina, USA revealed that this flying monster had a wingspan of 24 feet. Despite its enormous size, it weighed just over 21 kilograms, and this is because Pelagornis sandersi are thought to have displayed similar behavior to the modern-day albatross. This meant rarely landing on the ocean, but instead staying aloft for long periods of time whilst hunting for fish to prey on. Number 5, Megalania Prissa. Next up, it's something huge and scaly and no, it's not Kathy Bates. Megalania was a massive and brutal lizard that wandered the lands of Eastern Australia an estimated 140 million years ago. As a predator that was 16 feet long from head to tail, the fossils of this creature have often been found with kangaroo fossils and this paints the picture that large mammals may have often been its prey. Deer, wild pigs, goats, tortoises, and the now extinct pygmy elephants are among the animals experts claim it could have feasted on. Furthermore, scientists have cited the Megalania was most likely a scavenger, but when forced to hunt, an ambusher that may have attacked its prey in tall grass. It's believed that its saliva was toxic and could cause infection that led to cruel, slow death for anything which met its jaws. Yeesh, Komodo dragon much? Or is the Komodo dragon the copier in this case? Number 4, Titanoboa. Good luck getting this snake on a plane. Or on a train. 
It wasn't until 2009 in a Colombian coal mine that us humans finally discovered evidence for the existence of giant snakes. Believed to have slivered the earth 60 million years ago, the fossils discovered by the miners indicate that this giant was 43 feet long, making this prehistoric snake longer than a bus. When we looked at the variation in sizes concerning modern snake species, there is every chance that Titanoboa could have grown even bigger. To give you some idea of this predator's sheer strength, it is thought to have preyed on crocodiles. Let that sink in for a second. Crocodiles. You know, the big things. The things in Lake Placid. Those things. Very much like the anaconda, the Titanoboa would wrap and strangle its prey. Other than crocs, scientists have theorized it fed on fish, turtles, and early mammals. Snakes with Zane. Are you done there? Snakes with great aim. Moving on, number three, Camaroceras. How do you make an octopus more terrifying? Hmm, why don't we stick it in a huge spiky shell thing? Yeah, that sounds about right, that seems pretty terrifying. Ooh, give it a chainsaw. No, 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 the chainsaw, the chainsaw's too much. But what if we give it a rocket launch? Many fossils of this giant mollusk have been discovered in North America, Europe, and China, and it is thought to have swam Earth's oceans 416 million years ago. Bearing a resemblance to cuttlefish and octopus, this large ocean predator boasted a distinctive difference with a body which lived within a shell that could reach up to 20 feet long. Unlike modern tentacled ocean creatures, its tentacles didn't vary in size, and it would grip food with its tentacles to draw its prey to a bird-like beak, very much like octopus and squids. Scientists suggest that its beak could have been so strong that it could crush straight through shells protecting its prey, but possibly the most interesting physical feature of this mollusk was a toothed tongue, which it used to scrape out soft tissue from within the shells of the sea animals it captured. That's just... that's terrifyingly disgusting. Ew. One commonly cited trait of the Camaroceras is that it had poor eyesight, a strange suggestion considering that similar animals today are visual hunters. I mean, heck, if it has teeth on its tongue, why doesn't it have, like, eyeballs on its suckers or something like that? You know, make it even more terrifying. Of course, you could also give it the rocket Number one. two! Caprasuchus. Up next is an animal that gets its name from the Greek for poor crocodile. True to its name, the Caprasuchus was essentially a crocodile with bigger legs, but the main reason it was named this is because of the three sets of teeth that resembled the tusks of a wild boar. With a jaw that was two feet long, this bizarre-looking animal was thought to have hunted the lands of Africa and Niger 100 million years ago. On average, they would measure 20 feet long and would weigh 907 kilograms, making them bigger than a standard saltwater crocodile. Although this animal is pretty much a crocodile, it hunted in a very different manner. You see, prehistoric crocodiles had upwards-facing eyes to help them hunt their prey, whereas the eyes of the Caprasugis were forward-facing. This suggests that these scary-looking predators didn't just look for food around lakes and rivers, but took to the African plains to hunt their food as well. Number one, Megalodon. Lastly, it's the aggressive great granddaddy of Jaws. The meaning of the word Megalodon is big tooth, and with good reason. Although no skeletons have ever been discovered over the years, the teeth of this huge shark have been found at Shark Tooth Hill in California's Central Valley, an area that was once submerged in water. The teeth of this extraordinary oceanic predator measure at 7 inches long, and with the picture they paint of this hunter, there's no wonder Megalodon dominated the oceans for 25 million years. At 70 feet long and weighing an astonishing 55,000 kilograms, the Megalodon was the largest animal to ever exist, and many experts consider it to be the ultimate apex predator. Requiring over a ton of food every single day, it is thought that this shark made mincemeat of entire whales. It had the most powerful bite of any known animal. With 276 teeth sitting on five rows, its bite force is estimated at six to ten times more powerful than great white sharks. The megalodon was made extinct due to cooling out of the oceans, which killed off its prey, but there are those who claim to possess evidence of sharks this big still swimming in our oceans today. Just a heads up, using the movie Megalodon as evidence doesn't really work in this kind of thing. And that's our video for today, folks. So, what do you think of these kind of creatures? Think some of them are pretty terrifying? Think some of them could still be alive, like maybe even the Megalodon? Why not let us know in the comments section below? And while you're down there, why not give us a like and maybe even subscribe to us? Helps us out immensely and lets you see even more zany videos. Well, with that said, I'm signing off, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day.